Well, something that's misleading, it's a fraud, especially while you're trying to make money off of somebody else. So it's, he's a fraud is what he is. Nothing, he's not a technician. By no means, he's a fraud. He got a radio, took it apart, hacked it up, put garbage inside of it, disconnected some parts, stole the finals out, put the radio back together, and acted like he was doing a video, a fraud video. Panic attack is a fraud. Back to the bench. You like good windows? Nice. I'll know who you are in the wintertime, you know. Maybe the guy stuck to it. Don't laugh too hard. And there's some that's like 350 tried that, another fraud video. Dave White tried that. D-Rail tried that. Yeah, you know, it's just the bottom of the barrel. They're not technicians at all. They're not even, they're just hack shops. You know, they try to copy hard drive in so many different ways, it's pathetic. They're not technicians, they're magicians, hocus and pocus. You ever see that Dave White that about Dave White? Yeah, yeah, panic attack, Dave White. Yeah, panic attack's just a fraud, man. He's, he hacked up that, he destroyed that radio. Did you see what he did? He destroyed it, now it's junk. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he, he can't align the receiver. He took parts out, not even know what they were. He only found half the parts. But he put those solder blobs all over the place. It was a plant, you know, a fraud. He's a fraud. He's a con artist, not a technician. That's the easy, the number one rule is it's, it's a fake name. Right, right. He's like Dave White, you know, no different than Dave White or Stewball, the screwball in uh, New York. It's like Dave White, same thing. You know, he tried to do videos thinking he's a technician, right? They don't even have calibrated stuff. I mean, anybody to show anything like that is a scam or a fraud. Oh, little Dave White, you know, the striker radio club, SRC, the screwball radio club. He's got a flea market testicle, a flea market scope sitting over there to the left. A striker on the bench, a radio shack meter and a screwdriver in his hand. He's got a low-level modulated form on the scope. But see, these guys are too stupid, you know? They're just stupid is what they are. Stupid, but their customer base is even stupider. And yeah, that's a word. So he's got his little HF rig hooked up to the scope rig over there. He's got his, his little golden screwdriver you know, over by his meter, his radio shack meter showing 100 watts. And then a radio on the bench that the coax is hooked up. And he tried to do another one. Try to, it's all right there, man. It's got like 15,000 views. He's got another one hooked up at 497. But he, he's realized that, you know, some of uh, the whole continent shows me this stuff. And some other continents, too. It's a big channel, Facebook and YouTube. There's only one guy exposing all these idiots. It's, it's a job. You guys can say thank you anytime you like. So he's got another one set up the same way, right? On this, that little flea market scope. And uh, his radio shack meter, he doctored up real good. And then he, he's all keyed up showing 100 watts. But then he flips this switch and tries to show this waveform, the frequency changes. And the radio meter is not even keyed up. It doesn't even go into transmit mode. That's, that's just like panic attack, a fraud, man. A fraud. No, there's no other way. A fraud. Get it through your head. You stand behind that. You're you're no better than they are. Just a scheming, scamming, like a toenail fungus fraud. Pay attention. Get out of here, your garbage. Clear them back to the bench. Yeah. What's the one? Yeah, they're crybabies, ain't they? When you expose all these screwballs out there. I don't know of anybody doing anything like this. Yeah, I know. Now, it sounds like this wintertime, if you keep licking those windows like that, I'm going to know exactly who you are, man. You'd be the one stuck to that window. That wasn't too deep for you, was it? Yeah, that panic attack, yeah, he's... Now his kids, everywhere he goes, that they're going to know, you know, that their parents, them little kids' parents are broads. Yeah, they're frauds. The, the whole world's going to know. Just figure 30, 40, 50 years from now, it's never going to go away. A fraud. Yeah, a fraud. He's a hack shot, man, and a crook. He stole those spinals out of the radio. Now he couldn't even solder those in. You see all those splashes all over the place and how he gouged all over the board? I don't watch this stuff. It's just, you know, there's like 50 people, 100 people trying to say, hey, this guy's an idiot. 
Yes, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that he's a fraud. But, uh... Marjorie, you just got to contact on Facebook and your real names, man. Don't be in a hurry. Make sure you can follow the directions and we're back to the bench. Click, click. We're already over the hood. Yeah, exactly, man. It's, if they have the slightest form of integrity, though, you don't want to see no kitchen table in the bedroom junk. More of these golden screwdriver hack shops. There's actually people dumb enough to follow that stuff. The number one thing, if they're not in a real Faraday cage, and they can't, they can't show you a certification and calibration for a service monitor. And they're, I mean, if you're working on a little realistic or a little toy clock or something like that, that's fine. But when you start talking about export radio, he, he don't even know what the modes were. Now he destroyed sideband. He uh, readjusted the biasing voltage. He guy in the way. He's a scam, is what he is. Total scam. He, Boogered up the, the legs on the transistors. He probably stole the transistors is what he did. I mean, someone with a fake name and a broad video, he probably stole the transistors. It's only logical. Pay attention. Watch out for these screwballs. Back to the bench. You're welcome, there. <laughs> I have no idea where they come from. how clean you can make it, but forget all the antennas, forget your location, forget your coax, which is all important, but the most important part, the foundation of your radio is the bench that it's tuned on. It's the most important part. See, these guys, you know, that's, they can't do nothing like this, not a one, you don't hear any of them, right? They can't talk on the radio. It's these guys, like uh, Dave White, you know, they try to get my radios, you know, Mark Rutherford, They'll talk on HF rigs because they're incompetent. They would be exposed instantly by me, and they'd know it. And they just, well, they're scammers anyway. Right? It is what it is, back to the bench. East, uh, right back at you, bud. Someone's got to set the story straight. Someone's got to maintain the standards. Somebody's got to do it. Without that certification and calibration, it's just a fraud. All those goopy watts and stuff, or some junk. Oh. We must get garbage meter from Radio Shack. Get out of that garbage. Back to the fence. And then take that thing back and say, look. You're welcome. This thing is...